versus Morgul. Watch your step. I have no clue what Shaman is, so I don't know if I should keep backstab or not. I'm gonna toss it though. The Shadow Sculptor. Uh oh. That card's not very playable. Am I playing a 2 3 here? I do have a Blink Fox to activate it. So I think I'll just take the weapon. I don't really need to dagger into this, but I could. Here we go. Sure. Double two drop. I always hate playing rush minions without something to rush into, but it's also 2 mana 3-4, so I think it's fine. So as far as the Shadow Sculptor goes, it looks like I can just combo a Miscreant next turn and then I can have a Shadow Step and 3 1 cost cards in hand for the Shadow Sculptor. So it could potentially draw a ton of cards. Alright, a Control Shaman deck, huh? Am I playing Generous Mummy? I don't think so, right? Card is so bad. So, next turn... I only have six mana. And it does look like with this hand I probably want to go for a Shadow Sculptor. So I'm just going to play one of the lackeys here. Vendetta for sure, right? I don't think it's even really much of a question. I guess it could be Scheme. What would I want to scheme against a control shaman? Nomi's a weird card to scheme, because then your deck's not empty for the Nomi's. Flick is pretty good. I'm gonna take Vendetta. Next turn could potentially be one, two, three, four, five cards off Shadow Sculptor. I actually don't know if Shadow Sculptor counts itself. Definitely looks like a Shadow Sculptor turn, because, like, what else am I doing here? Uh... One, two... Four cards that I can get out of hand for sure. I could, instead of playing this Lackey, I could just Shadow Step the Evil Miscreant. That would dump... Three cards, but give me two more. So I'd be at 7, I would definitely overdraw with that. Okay, so it doesn't count itself. It doesn't say each other card, but... Wouldn't have really been surprised either way on how it ended up working. Ed Wiener. I can play a lot of cards with Edwin here, but it's gonna get hexed. So I probably don't need to go too hard on the Edwin, make it like an 8-8. Eight eight. So we can just go backstab, plus a bunch of 1-1s one I guess. Maybe I should make it a 10-10. Ten ten. 
Making it a 10-10 is actually not that easy. I mean, I guess I could just backstab one of my own things and make it a 10-10. It's probably worth it. I guess I'll hit with the weapon since. Wait, I miscounted on the Edwin? One, two, three, four. Oh, I did miscount. I didn't have to backstab one of my own things there. See, I probably should have not played the Forked Lightning because now my Vendetta costs four. I'm just dumb and don't know how to count with Edwin, I guess. So, Brawl, or more likely just a Polymorph. Oh, big game hunter, sure. Alright, well, Blink Fox bailed me out on this vendetta. The elemental is on his side of the board, so probably don't want to buff it. I think seeing the Zephyrus is actually good for me, though. Because, well, for one, that's Zephyrus down. But that means that for board clears in his deck, he probably has, like, one more Earthquake and that's it. So if I can find a Shadow Step for my Nomi, I think it probably wins the game. Unless I'm just forgetting a Shaman board clear that exists. Easiest Valdris Felgorge of my life. So Flick was definitely a good pickup. Unfortunately, I didn't hit Unstable Element or the other Shadow Sculptor, which is pretty unfortunate. This is a Highlander deck, so... Flick is never really hitting a duplicate unless it's a Dragon's Pack. This thing is pretty easy to just eviscerate, though. I definitely think I'm gonna need Nomi to win this game, so... I think I don't mind Eviscerate going on to a minion. Hunter's pack. Random Hunter, Beast, Secret, and Weapon. Is that better than a bunch of tutus? Probably. Is it better than drawing a card for three mana? I actually am not sure about that. Wild Growth might be the pick here. I think it is. Uh, 1-1. I don't really have a great set of lackeys in my hand. But I've got another cable rat that can find me a nice lackey. Has to be a Divine Shield, right? Wind Fury? Really? Oh, okay. I'm still not sure if that was correct, but makes some amount of sense. Killing his guy for zero mana seems pretty good. Wait, I have to Vendetta first, right? No, I have the Sir Than Might. Hey, there's a Shadow Step for my Nomi. It's a pretty good thing to evolve, right? Oh no, I can evolve this. Get this shit out of my hand. It's probably better to rush this and then evolve it. Hold on to the Vendetta. Bellringer Sentry. That's awful. 
I do only need to draw six more cards before I can Nomi him. And two of my cards basically draw my whole deck. So hopefully this guy can't deal with two Nomis. I don't think I'm going to be able to bait out an Earthquake before the first Nomi this game. Just looking at the threats I have remaining. Oh, I can actually cast Earthen Might on one of the Grease Fire Elementals, right? That's a way to get value. This guy just hexed my spider tank. Alright, there's the rest of my deck if I want it. And keep in mind I played Valdris. So I only need to dump one card for uh, for Myra's to not overdraw me here. So I guess it's just Vendetta Unstable Element. The Shadow Sculptor is obviously never getting played. Probably just want to go, like, Pharaoh Cat, Hench Clan Burglar here. Or maybe I go Dragon Sword instead of Pharaoh Cat, just so there's one less thing I have to trade off. Shraxus. I can Zentimo with Earthen Might. It's kind of cute. I think Jaraxxus is going to be really hard to play when I'm this deep in fatigue. I didn't look that closely at what to, what I could pull off of Hench Clan Burglar. But this is good with Centimo, right? Assuming my Grease Fire Elementals, like three of them live for a turn, I can put 18 extra power in play with Centimo. Well, it's definitely got to be a Nomi here, right? Do I want to eviscerate his face for any reason? I can eviscerate his face along with this big Zentimo turn if I need to. But maybe I want to play Underbelly Fence that turn or something. I don't know. Fuck you. Take four damage. I guess I can play a 1 1 here. I mean, if he doesn't play something for me to trade this into, he's just going to be dead on board anyway, right? So, whatever. Although I guess it is probably getting Earthquaked. I'm really just hoping that he doesn't make another Earthquake off his Hagatha. That would be a real bummer. What the fuck is that? How could it ever be correct to start your turn by doing that? Oh, I see. Can I still Zentimo him to death, though? So this is rushing in, trade off a 2-1. I could just buff the shit out of these. Pretty sure this has to be lethal. Let's go Zentimo. I just killed him with three cards that weren't even in my deck. <laughs> Let's go Rogue. I don't think I keep Miscreant without the coin. I have a hard time imagining Chef Nomi being that good against any particular warrior build. Like, if he's aggro, it's too slow. If he's control, he probably just has enough board clears. 
Oh, I actually forgot this got added to the Pharaoh Cat pool as well. So it's like 40% to activate the Burgle cards now, I want to say. I wouldn't swear by that number, but it sounds right. Frothing Berserker, huh? That's a pretty good card for beating people up. Probably still just play on curve next turn, though. Although I guess I could go like Frothing plus Dragon's Horde. Save the Dragon's Horde for that guy. He's all kind of suck. Hand of Protection is cheap. Easy to play. Activates Shadow Sculptor pretty easily. No tomb can hold me. Restless Mummy is a really good response to what I did this turn. Pretty weak turn, honestly. Still need to find something to do with my mana next turn, and then I can go turn 7, Big Taunt Guy, and hopefully turn 8, draw a ton of cards with Shadow Sculptor. I'm guessing this is a Highlander deck, because Dynamatic and Livewire Lance on the same list it doesn't make that much sense. It doesn't even make that much sense in a Highlander deck. Uh, I guess I just Edwin here. Can make it an 8 8. Saving this for the Shadow Sculptor turn could be pretty good, though. Because it gives me something I can play for cheap and then Shadow Step and play it again. Maybe I could just save one of the pirates and this turn could be a Dragon's Horde instead of the final pirate. Love the feel of wind in me sure, let's see how this goes. Last time I picked Zentimo, it was really, really good for me. I don't really see the others being that great. Zentima could be really nasty if I get a bunch of small stuff to stick over the next couple turns. And then turn 8 could be Zentima, Shadow Step, a bunch of garbage. Shadow Sculptor. I don't know, seems cute. Could have Shadow Stepped here to give the Edwin plus 4 plus 4. But I think I'd rather draw two more cards off Shadow Sculptor. He is a Highlander deck, I'm pretty sure. Actually, maybe I even just save the Shadow Step for Nomi. I think I'd rather draw the cards though, since I'm so far away from Nomi. But yeah, if he's a Highlander deck, it should be hard for him to deal with even the first Nomi. Second one as well. Okay. Warpath is not a Nomi answer, but maybe he had a Spell Zerker in his deck to go with it? Or maybe that's his Plague of Wrath activator. So I'm happy to see it go down, I think. So it looks like my Zentimo Shadow Step thing is probably not going to be that good. But Zentima Hand of Protection could give Divine Shield to this can't-be-targeted minion. Wow, I really want to give this thing a Divine Shield. But instead of doing that, I could draw a bunch of cards with Shadow Sculptor, which is probably better. Is it better, though? This thing is so hard for him to deal with, I feel like. Let's see what this gives me. High Priest Ama. It's gotta be Takan, right? Alright, I'll trade off my 6 1.
I still have six lackeys in my deck, so this Dakon seems like it could be very strong. Probably finally time to play the Shadow Sculptor. Isn't that other rogue card called Shadow Skulker? That's way too similar. Found my unstable element, so. What does this do? It makes them 4-4s, four it doesn't give them plus 3, plus 3, so shadow stepping, it's not good. But yeah, I found my unstable elements. So if I really wanted to go in on Nomi, I could. But I'm assuming he still has a Brawl and a Plague of Wrath. So I'm fine just playing it slow for now, I think. Get some 4 4 lackeys. I think that's my whole turn. Could have been thinking about. Zentima shadow step positioning, but I'm pretty sure I want to shadow step this Nomi. It's not a hit I was expecting to see. Must be the Plague of Wrath. So I could Restless Mummy. I don't really need to though, I can just weapon over this. Let's just see what this gets me. Sure. An ooze. Not worth shadow stepping, I don't think. I guess I need to position around Super Collider a bit. At this point, I'm kind of just getting cards out of my hand, so I can play Unstable Element at some point. Or even just get cards out of the hand for the second Shadow Sculptor if I can find it. Good old Zilliax, just undoing the first half of the game. I can eviscerate this. Eviscerating it does prevent him from healing for three. Which is basically what you expect out of an eviscerate anyway, right? Alright, let's draw six. Oh, I can Vendetta to prevent him from healing for seven. That's pretty good. I'm out of Alright, so he's actually under a lot of threat just from this board. And then if he deals with this board, I've got the Chef Nomi. And even if like he deals with that somehow, I do have three lackeys, which are all four fours.
Looks like a Nomi. And I think I'm fine eating damage with my weapon here. He's at 15, I need 9. So it looks like I'm just playing another Nomi. Uh, the question is, do I just run this in since I'm getting another 6-6 anyway? I think I probably do. Like, if this... If he doesn't have another AoE, these just get there anyway. But I guess maybe I'm concerned about him somehow randomly generating another Brawl. I mean, I can just backstab dagger this and only take two damage to kill it so i take two and lose a backstab for him to take five basically yeah i'll deal damage to him seems fine positioned my nomi improperly for the board symmetry feels bad Okay, yeah, he's gonna nether here. How did I forget about Zephyrus being in his Highlander deck? But that's fine though, because I can play a bunch of four power minions here. They should be good enough to close. Do I want Eviscerate or Violet Haze? Probably just eviscerate. How good is Big Bad Voodoo? It's pretty good with Zentimo, but I don't know if we're really getting to that point. So if things go terribly wrong. I have Eviscerate, and then hopefully Marked Shot can pick up another bit of damage. Eviscerate or Sinister Strike would be good enough with my dagger. Flick. It's probably lethal without Flick, but Flick. Flick is really good against Druid. It could actually be a keep. But I think I probably just need to try to Nomi him. I tried playing slow and flicking the last Druid I played against, but it just didn't work. Nature's blessings upon you. The pleasure is mine. Discovering a dragon could be cool. So I can play a cable rat, I can play a bunch of one ones, or I can play a three four. I think I just want to play some one ones here. 
Twilight Drake, huh? Alright, we can play a big Twilight Drake next turn. It's gonna be a 4-9. That's a big dragon. So, I can just play Unstable Element next turn and then coin out Nomi on 6. I am a little bit worried about just going for such an early Nomi, because it's still pretty hard for me to get through Winged Guardian and stuff like that. But it might be my best bet, especially with a Shadow Step pickup, I think I do just go for it here. Five mana draw two, start taking fatigue damage. Yep, that's a big guy. Hopefully he'll moonfire my Twilight Drake so I can trade it off. Damn. So hopefully I have enough 6-6s six to get there. This also comes with a slight benefit that... Uh, if I Dragon Sword into a Highlander thing now, it'll be active. Yo, Zuldrak Ritualist. That card's sick. So, probably want to backstab this thing. Bump, 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 bump. God, it takes so much to get through this stupid Winged Guardian. Am I daggering into it? Probably. Maybe it makes sense to just trade off a thing here so I can play another Nomi and get more things. These are garbage. More Master Voon does have a thing in the hand, though. So sure. What if? Okay, starting with a ferocious hell means probably not a giant thing. Silly axe, though. So he can kill my two six threes. I have 34 face damage, 35. Definitely want to run the fence into this. And then I guess I'll just play Evil Miscreant probably. So I did pick up an Ethereal Lackey, which maybe can find me lethal even if he taunts up. But at this point, it should be hard for him to taunt through this many 6-6s. Six he could have like double Witching Hour for two Winged Guardians. That might be pretty hard for me to deal with. It's just a 6-8, so... Turn six Nomi's pretty good. 